Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're talking about Sundial Grows, ticker symbol SNDL. So if you're watching the video and happen to like it, make sure to press that like and subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. But also subscribe to make sure you never miss out stock and also how to learn how to make money from the stock market. On that, we'll get straight into the video. So we're looking at SNDL today. But first, we're going to start off with an article and it's really just talking about the earnings. I did talk about the earnings yesterday, but this is, the, um, this is an article kind of highlighting five points. And I thought, you know, I'll make it clear in this video and kind of um, I pretty much covered it and I covered some points that weren't in this article but you know there are some points it's probably just more detailed in this article so number one while the firm announced a net loss of 64.1 million Canadian dollars that was an improvement on both quarter to quarter and year over year basis those comparative respective losses were 71.4 million and 145.9 million so obviously you know it's showing that quarter to quarter and year over year is better um, we already got that from the thing um, from the video yesterday. If you haven't watched the video, make sure to watch that if you want to subscribe so you never miss out a video. And you know we'll get on that. So you know overall it's is um, good. The second point, net cannabis sales of thirteen point nine million CAD was up eight percent subsequently, um, but down more than five percent year over year. Analysts estimated revenue of twelve point one million Canadian dollars. So obviously. Um, the net cannabis revenue was up 8% but down more than 5% year over year. It's kind of straightforward. Again, that's uh, uh, one of the points we covered yesterday. Something um, you know that I did say in my previous video and it's not covered here, I, just want, I want to highlight this point again before I get on, is that overall, you know, it said, of course, you can see that this is clearly uh, a bad short-term thing. It was down 5% year over year. But I did say about how yesterday's news kind of implied that it has very good long-term potential. Um, again, I explained it more detailed in the other video, so if you guys do want to go watch it, go ahead. But you know, I'm just going to quickly shorten it down. Essentially, it's just saying that everything it's doing now is kind of just uh, making sure in that future it has f um, more value, and so the short-term loss right now isn't that big of a deal. We have number, point number three. The results showed adjusted earnings before interest tax depreciation and amortization from continued operation loss of 5.6 million. CD in Q4 in the preceding Q3, the firm posted a loss of 4.4 billion a million. And uh, number four is the company said average gross selling price per gram equivalent of branded products was 5.05 um, compared to 6.24 as the prior year, so that's 2019, in a result of industry wide price compression. So it's just talking about this, you know, oversupply, and they anticipate more downward price pressure. Essentially, saying that the price of obviously the price of per gram will go down. You know, which could in some ways res obviously restrict their profit. But if they were to obviously take um, shares in the market, they obviously can benefit from that still. As well, Sundar said they had unrestricted cash balance for approximately seven hundred nineteen million CAD as of this week. You know. Um, which added um, to an already impressive watch of over 600 million CAD. So you know, they have more money and essentially more money means that they can do more M&A, they can do more things and um, kind of lead on to better stock prices. So all in all, you know, these five points really was this point that, um, you know, obviously I didn't cover this point yesterday, but you know, these points were, it's more detailed than how I said it yesterday. So I did want to go over this again, but really it is something that we should be looking at. And essentially, you know, this is what we should be looking out for in SNDL. So moving back onto the charts, if you're looking at the charts right now, if we look at how you know it's going today, it failed and rejected at 164, and you know hit back down to this level into this area again. Now I've, I've had this area out for quite a while now. I do think it's an area we should be pay attention to. You can see that it has spent a, quite a lot of time in this area, and I said this um, that we are you know going to see consolidation between this area is very normal um, considering our recent obviously bullish momentum so this is very normal to see a consolidating between the two areas and you know for anyone who's nervous right now it's completely normal you know when, when we tend to fail to break a resistance normally the um, thing that happens next is it kind of just pulling back to the support like it is now you now we could see tomorrow of hitting of 136 or could be see tomorrow you know supporting on this line and kind of testing that 164 again but really consolidating between this area is normal the reason why i marked out this um rectangle is more because there's more volume in this area of course this is still a key level the 136 that we should be paying attention to but this area has a lot of volume it really dictates how it's consolidating in between this range and so that's what we should be looking at you know in terms of right now what we're looking at 
we are seeing it build up you know you can see that it then it actually closed you know above yesterday's opening you know if you can see tomorrow closing above um today's closing then we'll, we'll see good news you know we kind of want to see it kind of just solidly stacking up and building up around this range before it finally breaking up and that will be in the technical views really good you know all in all right now we are seeing good news people did um obviously the sell off due to yesterday's summer you know you could say and i and i said this as well is that obviously we are going to see some short-term losses this is very normal but some people who's read the article who understand that there is long-term value in this dog will come in but in the in the short term we are going to be seeing sellers overall so that is this is perfectly normal to see and you know so again just waiting for the price to stack up here before breaking off but yeah that's it for the video guys guys I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to press the like and subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys think about SNDR and comment down below what you guys want to see next. And that, enjoy your day.